Live from downtown Detroit, Local 4 News at Noon starts now. A ruling from the state's high court clearing the way for the Oxford High School shooter's parents to face trial. Good afternoon and thank you for joining us this Tuesday. I'm Rhonda Walker and I'm Jason Colthorpe. We've been following this new development all morning uh, for James and Jennifer Crumbly. The Michigan Supreme Court refusing to hear their last ditch appeal, which means the appeals court ruling stands. Let's get to Jacqueline Francis. She joins us now live with more on the decision and what happens next. Jacqueline. This decision to go to trial sets a new precedent. James and Jennifer Crumley will be the first parents of a mass shooter in the U.S. to face charges in connection to the shooting. The Crumleys are charged with four counts of involuntary manslaughter in connection with the November 2021 school shooting. The couple argued their case before the Michigan Supreme Court in May, trying to get the charges thrown out, saying the only person responsible for the deaths is their son. The high court came back, shutting down their appeal, writing the court was, quote, not persuaded that the question presented should be reviewed by this court. Bottom line, this means that both the parents will go to trial. It's unclear exactly when that will be. Reporting live in Detroit, Jacqueline Francis, Local 4. All right, Jacqueline, we appreciate it. And former Detroit Police Chief James Craig making a big announcement today. He's planning to run for U.S. Senate. He is hoping to replace Senator Debbie Stabenow when she retires at the end of her term. Craig is already facing a large field of candidates on both sides of the aisle, including former Congressman Mike Rogers on the Republican side and Congresswoman Alyssa Slotkin for the Democrats. The UAW responded to an offer from General Motors made on September 21st, according to the Detroit News. Here is where things stand. General Motors is indefinitely laying off about 160 workers at plants in Ohio and Indiana. Ford is now laying off 330 workers at a stamping plant in Chicago and an engine plant in Lima, Ohio. As for the overall talks, right now negotiations continue and the UAW says formal talks are taking place between them and and GM as well as Stellantis. There was no official update on the status of talks with Ford. Millions of dollars worth of cocaine smuggled into the U.S. is intercepted in Wixom, according to federal prosecutors. They say a semi from Mexico crossed into Texas on September 27th. Agents noticed the cocaine and they put a tracker on the trailer. The semi ended up at a warehouse where the suspects leased that building. The drugs were unloaded. Wixom police arrived on the scene, searched the building and found 223 kilos of cocaine. Three people were arrested. A Birmingham bridal shop owner will be going to circuit court. She's charged for taking customers money without delivering their wedding dresses or offering a refund. Nadika Rodasovich is accused of taking thousands of dollars after her store, Birmingham Bridal, abruptly closed in June. Police believe victims lost $50,000. A few years ago, she waived her right to the preliminary examination. No word on when she'll be back in court. Today, hundreds of kids skipped their ride to school for the 24th annual Royal Oak Firefighters Walk to School event. Firefighter Carrie Thompson organizes this every year. The idea here is to encourage kids to stay safe when they're walking to and from school. This started years ago when a group of kids asked Thompson if he could walk them to school, and he says it's grown into something he couldn't have imagined. It was just a little idea that I thought honestly would be just a one and done, but it's one of the things that's lasted me over my whole course of my career from the beginning to the end now, and I'm just amazed that it, it, it took this shape and stayed with us all this time. It's a simple idea, but it draws so many families together, something they all look forward to every year. Right, and talk about good weather. If they, I mean, that's every year around this time. That's yeah. probably a crapshoot every single year. Uh -huh, but, but this was probably one of the best right. <laughs> weather-wise, actually. Absolutely. I mean, I want us all to just take a second and soak this in. Not a cloud in the sky and the blue skies reflecting off the Detroit River. It also it almost has a Caribbean look out there. So just a beautiful lunch hour for early October here in the Detroit area, sitting at 79 degrees right now.
right now, and we are just going to get warmer from here. Howell is at 79, Pontiac 78. Adrian has already exceeded the 80 degree mark and currently at 81. And winds are very light out of the south. And so a summer like day on tap, we're going to stay in the 80s this afternoon and they return tomorrow. Really Wednesday shaping up to be the warmest day of the week as we should be a few degrees warmer than today. Rain chances return Thursday. And that's going to bring winds of change. And so we turn colder over the next several days after tomorrow. And then we dip into the 50s for highs this weekend. But sky conditions, maybe a cloud or two in Gross Seal. Otherwise, beautiful crystal clear blue skies across southeast Michigan right now. So as we zoom out, you can see how we are staying away from the cloud cover and the rain showers this afternoon. Summer like heat persists and we'll be right around 82 or 83 degrees for that afternoon high. We're tracking some changes, tumbling temperatures. Stick with us. We'll have the details on that.